Hey, Vice President Joe Biden, I need you to call me soon. I'd like to talk to you about something. Yo, know, uh, I think you were a senator from 1973 to 2008. So you had to make some friends along the way. Well, you know, you're always going to be Vice President Joe Biden. You're always going to ride on the Air Force Two. When 2016, you don't have a chance to be president if you're going to run against Hillary Clinton. Well, wouldn't you like to see the name Joe Biden, President of the United States? Joe Biden, President of the United States, is getting on Air Force One. Well, the only way you could do that is you got to drop a dime, yo, on President Obama. Yo, I'm sure there's a lot of skeletons that you know, and you got friends, yo, after being, yo, in uh, Washington for so many years. So drop a few dimes on them. Tell, yo, tell some of your friends in Congress, yo, some of the things that, yo, he could be brought up on to be impeached. Get him out of the way, and then you'll become vice president, maybe in a year, yo. So if you serve two years as president, you get rid of Obamacare, you'll look like a star. So in 2016, you will at least have a pretty good chance of becoming president of the United States. Can't you see it right now? President Joe Biden of the United States. You know, you don't have to pardon him or anything, you know, like Gerald Ford did to Nixon. Don't do any of that. You can plant a few seeds. You could see it happening on shows like Covert, uh, what is it, Covert Affairs, uh, you know, uh, that's on right now. You could see it on MI5, you know, which is a European version of the uh, FBI. Drop a few dimes, call in a few, uh, uh, you know, favors from some of the people that you ran across all these years. Promise them, you know, some position. You know, you could... You know, you would have no problem at all replacing the Attorney General if you became President of the United States. You'd be a hero. And you could become President. So call me. We'll talk. Bye now from Jimmy.